All right, so for tip number three, it's all about making sure that the leads and the chords are working together and you have the leads playing one of the notes in the chords when a new chord is being introduced. So what do I mean by that? If we look at the melody for memory, you can see that every time a chord is introduced, the melody that's playing above is a note that is in those chords. So you can see here, we have the E up top, we have an E down here, a D sharp here, D sharp here, C sharp here, C sharp here, etc. Now again, there are no rules, so you don't have to do this all the time. You can see here later on in the melody, you know, I have a C sharp playing up here. There's no C sharp in the chord. You obviously have to go by feeling and what sounds good, but I do find this is a very easy way to sort of, again, take out all that guesswork and start to have a framework when making these melodies.